All right, everyone, welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Dungeons. I hope everyone is doing great today. I know that I am. As always, we are jumping right on into things, um, and you're actually going to be seeing this the same day that I am recording it, a little bit later in the day upload, unfortunately, um, but I did want to wait to record this video until we actually had the DLC drop. So we do have our new Minecraft Dungeons DLC Hidden Depths. I have purchased it. We have it installed. It is ready to go um, but we also do have a few other things that are going on and that's why i'm on this side of the screen once again because on that side of the screen it's talking about the anniversary event that is going on right now uh, to celebrate the one year that minecraft dungeons has been live and available for everyone to play um, which is pretty crazy so uh, for those of you who have kept up with the series you know i haven't been playing since day one but um you know i did jump in relatively soon after that and it's been a blast i have been enjoying this game so much um, and it's probably one of the longer running series here on the channel. And I don't have any plans to stop just yet. There's still a lot of stuff for us to accomplish. Um, so with the anniversary event, uh, there are some special events that we can tackle, special challenges that we can tackle um, between now, which is the 26th of May and June 8th. And you can actually get some prizes. So you can get a whole cake armor and you can also get a cake ape which is pretty cool um, by completing a certain number of those daily challenges between that time frame. So you have about two-ish weeks to do this event. So definitely get on it if you are interested in um, in getting any of this limited time stuff. Because once it, it's, it happens and it's gone, it's gone for good. It, I haven't seen anything come back um, that they've had in special events before. So I'm going to assume that this is going to be the same exact uh, case scenario. All right, hop to the top to the other side here. Let's get into the game. So I was thinking today that we would hop into the special event first, right? Because it makes the most sense. It's limited by time, right? And so we want to obviously, you know, take advantage of those while we have the time to do so, while the DLC is always going to be here. But there's a caveat to that, which I'll get in a second. Now, I already did boot into the game. It did have a notification, which obviously is not popping up again uh, because I already had booted in to check things out. And it had talked on the the new raids or um, uh, I'm, I'm, the, the name escapes me at this point in time. Uh, but basically, these new one off mini bosses that you can find without any mission within Minecraft Dungeons that have a chance to drop really good loot. I think they're called raid bosses, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe that's what they're called. Um, you guys will have to let me know in the comments down below. Anywho, you could be playing any map, like uh, we were playing Cactus, Cacti Canyon a couple episodes ago. We could be in there just going through a normal mission, and one of these normal little uh, raid bosses could pop up. You defeat them, and you have a good chance of getting some cool armor. Now, that's not specific to the DLC. That is specific uh, to the update, so anyone who has the game will have that feature enabled, which is really cool. Same with the anniversary um, challenges and daily stuff. That is uh, across the board. You don't have to get the DLC to get that. The DLC is only going to get you... Um, the new locations to actually go and enjoy. And I believe those new locations then will be tied into the ancient hunts, which are obviously part of the base game in itself, which is really cool. I love that Minecraft Dungeons, the people, the guys over at Mojang will release a DLC that is paid. And then they'll also release some free content alongside of that. For those of you out there who don't necessarily want to get the DLC, but you're still enjoying the game and you want that, um, want that content refresh. So Let's go into the mission select here and we'll show you what we got going on here. So we can read more around this. So this is just, again, talks on the anniversary event. We have 12 days, 11 hours, well, 12 days, almost 12 hours, a little under 12 hours to go through and do this. So basically you need to complete seven of seven seasonal trials and you'll get the cape, which is awesome. We're definitely going to go for that because the cape looks cool. And again, limited time, grab it while you can. Now, unfortunately for us, the seasonal mission Right now, we're sitting at a power level of 94, and it's sticking us into the 97 bucket. So I don't know if I necessarily want to um, try it out. We could always bump down to the tier before that, or we could just go for it and see what our chances are. Um, now, that's one right there. There's another seasonal mission down here, which is an even higher one. It's power level 100, and we're not, even, we're not close to that, but it looks like we could get a cool bow from that. 
Uh, but what my understanding is we just need to complete seven of them. I don't think you, you know, it doesn't matter if you get the same loot from them or whatever it may be. You just need to complete seven over the course of the time. You'll get the cape. So, but we can then jump to the island realms because this is where we had a lot of the other DLCs, right? We had the, um, the jungle DLC. We had the winter DLC the um what the the high the sweeping hills or whatever windy hills whatever this one is called i always forget the names of the dlcs um but we had this one here and then down here in the corner we have our coral rise map which is the um the the hidden depths dlc i don't know why i can't remember all the names of the dlcs this one is going to actually start us off on power level 91 here there's a bunch of stuff for us to find so i'm kind of erring on the side let's start with this and then we're going to sprinkle in some of those seasonal trials in as well you're going to see a lot of uh minecraft dungeons in the, the coming days here because i do want to crank out a good amount of this stuff so let us just then jump into this we're going to get going here because if we bump up yeah it's well it's 97 and we could get some really good gear from it uh yeah it's 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 nah nah we'll be fine let's go for it let's get this so we're traveling to the coral rise this is our first map which looks cool i'm super excited there's a lot of new dynamics to this this might end up being a two-part episode we'll see how it goes um if it is you'll probably the crushing depths and vanquish the terror that lurks beneath okay so a couple different things here first what i noticed which is what i'm laughing at is our pet has its own little bubble our pet ghast he's got his own little bubble there um and honestly i kind of forget how we have to change our pets i think we do it back at the camp if, if i'm thinking about it correctly because i don't think it was in the main screen but there's a lot of new dynamics to this. For one, first, actually, I should say, I'm a little bit disappointed. Story is the same as all the other DLCs. There's a shard of the orb that has fallen into the ocean, and it's corrupted the ocean. Go and, you know, find it and destroy it or beat the boss. Same story as we've seen in all the other locations, just different aesthetics. Which, right off the bat, aesthetics look great. Now, there is this down here. We have our health bar, but now we also have this blue next to it. Now, that's not mana. That is... Um, air, I believe. So, when we walk away from an air source, it starts going down. And so, we're going to want to be next to air to regenerate that. And it's actually cool, because the fire actually does come underwater. I wasn't expecting that to actually work. I was thinking that our whole entire setup would have to be modified, but it doesn't. But as you can see, we don't roll anymore. We kind of do a twirl, which is really cool. But now we're going to have to make our gameplay predicated around... Um getting to these uh these bubble sources to get air and if we don't get that then um you know obviously we're gonna go down in the air and we'll probably start taking damage i highly doubt we'll die instantaneously uh, but we'll definitely start taking some damage here so this is really cool okay how many we have 23 secrets okay so we're definitely gonna want to do some searching around um and seeing what we can find your air definitely goes down really quick here um and wow your arrows are way way different in the way in their dynamic really really different dynamic on arrows we do have a new type of slime here which is pretty cool but as you see the arrows kind of just we did level up they they travel a lot slower we did get our first piece of new armor our turtle armor we also did get a um I think like a katana, but we also have a tropical fish here. Heals 20% over two seconds and replenishes oxygen as well. So there's another new dynamic is that some of this food can actually replenish your oxygen. Now I believe these are secrets if I'm not mistaken. Yep, and then you can just jump up here and you'll get this. And we did get a coral blade, which is really, really cool to see. Oh, this is awesome. 
Okay, we're gonna have to pause here in just a second to take a peek. We'll go back to the the air here, and we're gonna take a peek at what we've picked up because we have picked up some stuff. We also leveled up as well. Um, so the katana is nothing new. We've had one of these before. I'm gonna get rid of it. Turtle armor is new, which is pretty cool. So 35% damage reduction and 25% healing boost, which is kind of cool. Only it doesn't have many enchantments on it though, so that's a little bit of a bummer. Then we have the coral blade, which is rapid as slashes. The coral blade cuts through enemies with stinging accuracy. Pretty cool, um, but again, not really stuff that has the best enchantments on it. And that's really where we're at with our playthroughs. We want stuff that has good enchant. Well, I mean, I think at any any instance of a playthrough, you want stuff that has good enchantments on it. Um, but it's actually kind of cool because since the arrows are so much slower, you can pretty much dodge them. Like before, it's like, okay, you would pretty much get bombarded and you wouldn't really have much of an opportunity to get away from them. But they're slow enough now where it's like you can actually see when they're coming towards you, which is very interesting. Um, and it's also cool, the map actually outlines where you can find oxygen bubbles. So I'm guessing this is probably gonna be a two-parter, um, just judging on how things are going thus far. Wow, we got a lot of enemies here. Let's get these guys in here. A lot of skeletons that is for certain and it's a little bit funky when they get killed they kind of float to the surface so it almost kind of freaks you out and makes you think that they haven't been destroyed we did get something what did we pick up strength the strength potion oh we did get another secret here so it definitely pays off to look around as much as you possibly can and we did get another turtle armor I don't know if this, if the ring also helps us with oxygen as well. We did just get a bubble bow. That's something new as well. Let's take a look at that in just a second here once we get some more of these guys taken out. This definitely is a very new dynamic to the game and it's pretty cool. I will say, like, this is a really, really cool new dynamic. So we do have the bubble bow. Um, so it does relatively decent damage. It does do bubble damage. Let's your troubles float away with the bubble bow, which seals your target in a bubble on a charged shot. Interesting. Okay, I'm a little bit interested. I want to check it out just out of curiosity more so than anything else. Um, so we'll give this a little little C, um, and we'll definitely, again, we're going to want to really full explore things because there's a lot of secrets to find here. And with the new dy dynamic of almost having a semi-zero gravity feel to it, uh, I can guarantee there's probably going to be some more places that we're going to want to go to and, uh, and uh, try to get to. We're about to run out of oxygen here, though, so we do need to get to a uh, place that has oxygen. And it is very much like base Minecraft. Let's switch back bows here, because I'm not a big fan of that bubble bow, actually. But in base Minecraft, when you run out of air, um, when you're in the water, you just start taking damage. And that's how it is in this game as well, or in this DLC, which is so cool, guys. Like, this is so awesome. Like, the aesthetics are so cool. The new dynamics of it are really, really cool. Definitely forces you to change up how you're playing the game. And look at I didn't know you could go into some of these. Which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, I really don't know. Like, that's the thing. Like, I don't know how far we can go with things and what we can find. Okay, I get some more oxygen here. Uh, we did find a secret. See, that's why. It's like you have to explore every nook and cranny for some of these secrets here. Um, and we've pretty much gone through a lot of these. I'm not going to spend too much time on it, uh, but let's keep going here. Uh, this will be like a little bit more of a, um, you know, talkative, not so much cutting away episode, um, just because there is so much new to it. It's funny, some of the passive mobs that we have now are squid, which makes, uh, I mean, it makes sense. I mean, you're in the water, you're under the ocean. Why wouldn't you have squid with you? Why wouldn't there be squid as the passive mobs instead of a... Um, cow or a sheep or something like that okay 
Nothing down here. Again, still mainly looking for secrets at this point. Obviously still progressing, but still looking for good stuff. Yeah, this really offers, like, just such a different way of, like, being able to progress around with now you twirl instead of just rolling. So you do have that zero gravity feel to it. Let's take a look at the map. Okay, this looks like to be a roundabout area, so let's go this way. Oh, and there you go. That's why you do a full explore, because you never know what you will run into in the secrets, especially with so many. We've only found four. There's 19 or more to go. Like, holy smokes. But yeah, I'm going to try not to cut away too much with this, so, you know, just bear with me as we are going through. Whoa, okay. We got new types of enemies. These are like the guys from the jungle DLC, but now we're underwater. Don't know how I feel about these guys. There's a lot going on right now. Okay, focus is at all time high. I used my, uh, Used my potion, and then I used the totem as well, which we're using the totem because it does offer some really good healing to us. Um, and I really wanted to try it out instead of our bees that we have been rocking for a good amount of time here. Okay, what is, is this? Nope, this is not the direction that uh, the main mission is on. As you can see, it's pointing us in a different way. But again, we're looking for them secrets. We want to find some cool secrets. Oh, we got a puffer fish! As a passive mob. Okay, wow, we took a lot of damage there. And I'm about to die. <gasps> okay, we did find another secret right down there. Oh, I have my totem. Let's get the totem out and let's just heal up from the totem. I am actually really enjoying this um, artifact. I don't know why we really haven't used it before. We did get some fisticuffs there, some gauntlets. Which are pretty cool. Anything else pop up? Nope, no chests that we have overlooked, so we should be good get a little bit of water or a little bit of air I should say not a little bit of water we have plenty of water we don't need more water um, and we've already explored in this direction I guess we could go over on this side just make sure that we're not missing anything um, but obviously you do need to get into relative range to where the secret would be in order for it to pop up uh, but hopefully you guys enjoy this series I was really excited for this one to come out um, we do have a new mob right there a drowned that's a first for that but yeah, I was extremely excited for this one to come out. Um, seeing the new types of mobs and dynamics that it offers. Wow, we died pretty much instantaneously there. I got a little bit too close. But that's okay, we'll get back in here. And uh, luckily, we'll, we, you know, even though we did die, we do still get some... Oh, do you see how they kind of sat in midair there? Which is kind of cool. They sit long enough that someone could actually just walk into them, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, these guys do a lot of damage with those scepters that they have. These drown do. But I was really excited for the new dynamics that they put into this. And uh, just the overall aesthetics. I was kind of hoping for a little bit better story, to be 100% honest with you guys. Um, I know I have voiced this um, opinion before, um, but I'll obviously continue to voice it just because I feel like they could have really implement some better additional storylines to this, especially in their DLCs uh, compared to what they default to, which is, oh, a shard of the staff has fallen into insert location here, go and find it and, you know take out the the baddie that has ultimately can we get in here oh we can't get in here the baddie that has ultimately you know kind of been corrupted due to this so but i feel like they have made up a little bit for it because they have added in so many new dynamics to the game itself and in this area so let's get to the water here real quick i'm gonna spawn in our iron golem to help protect us for a hot second let's see what we got so we have 
a rapid crossbow. I don't believe this is anything new. I think we've had this before. So we're going to get rid of that. Don't really need it. We do have another turtle armor. We actually picked up several different turtle armors. Um, and I'm going to keep the one that is green here, the rare one. Um, actually, I'm probably not even going to keep that one. We're going to get rid of the fisticuffs. We don't need that. The coral bow, or coral blade, I should say, is pretty cool. But it's not amazing. Artifact Synergy. Whenever you use an artifact, your next attack deals bonage, bonus damage, which is pretty cool. Um, we have Critical Hit, Exploding, and Radiance. Um, actually, both of those are pretty nice on there, but it's not very powerful, I would say. Like, our dual-wielding uh, Nightmare's Bites are way better than this thing. Um, even though it's very, very cool, um, we're going to ultimately get rid of it. We have Growing, um, Spiderweb, Chain Reaction, um, Overcharge, which is pretty cool. Continue to hold your range attack button to double, triple, or quadruple your charge. Um, piercing, and then uh, that's actually pretty nice. We might actually get rid of that one. We got some guards armor, which is, uh, again, it's nothing new. We've had these before. Luck of the Sea is new, though. This is a new enchantment that is with this DLC. So increases your luck, which boosts the chance that rare drops become unique drops. Ooh. So that's across the board. I don't think it's specific just to the DLC maps. This would be for any of the maps that 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 are um, in the game. So that's actually really cool to see on this armor. So I'm going to hold on to both of those, I believe. Why not? Let's hold on to them and let's keep moving forward. I think once we get to about the 30 minute mark, we're going to call it at part one. And then, obviously, we'll, we'll have a part two. And uh, it depends. Maybe we'll even have a part three. It really just uh, depends on how everything goes. All right. All right, let's get this in here. The exploding bow is actually really cool underwater. This is probably one of the best ones to do. Because even if you don't hit your target, it'll sit in midair and then it'll explode. Concentration all the way up to max right now. We're just hitting everything. Oh, a drowned necromancer. That is new. That for sure is new. Let's get in close to this guy. Oh, is that my own water? Or that's my own fire. Yeah, not my own water. We did get some more arrows, which is awesome. Let's get our golem back out here to help us out. Yeah, but I think the exploding bow, this is going to be the hidden secret of this DLC because of how the dynamics of arrows now work within this area where they do float. Then they float, they sit there, and then they'll just explode, which is perfect because then again, even if you don't hit your target, it'll be in close enough proximity that um, there's a decent chance that it'll just explode. I feel like there should be a secret over there, but I guess not. <laughs> um, it'll explode and then take out the enemy in close proximity, or at least damage them enough that uh, you could come in and finish off the job if you needed to. So, uh, But this is pretty cool. Oh, big open area here. I'm definitely not supposed to go that way. Something else to keep in mind is you don't... Like, you can just walk off edges now. Uh, it's not like you need to roll off of them. We did get another turtle armor here. Which, again, it's, it's, it's pretty cool, and it actually could help benefit in our build, but not necessarily with what's on it. I do like that we have what we have currently, so I'm going to get rid of that. If we find something really good, like a, a very unique item, then um, you know I'd consider holding on to it a little bit more. We do have another guy here. Different type of drowned, it looks like. We do need to get some oxygen here, though. Find the gate buttons is our newest thing. Okay, get some healing going in here. Going on here. And we do need to make our way through the gates. Okay, I see what they're talking on right there. That's where we need to go. And we need to find the key for him. Which it'll be interesting to see how the dynamic of keys works. got some of those we got supplies up there which would be extremely useful so let's get up there i wish they put the mob name above them for every single mob that would be really nice because i feel like i mean i would like to know some of these mobs exact names 
All right, we definitely need some oxygen. Wow, okay. We really need some oxygen. Okay, there's one right here. Three. Get our healing. All right, I think we also accidentally killed a dolphin down there. Big yikes. And we did get a trident. Um, which I don't know what that does. Like, I picked it up, but it didn't really do anything for us. So that's why I'm confused. And we did get another secret chest here. With another bubble bow. Um, nothing bursting. Eh, I mean, I think that other one had some really cool effects on it. And I'd much rather try that out. Alright, let's take a quick glance at the map here. So we have two different locations we need to go to. Um, and I am going to, again, try to ex full explore to see if there's any secrets because we do have quite a bit more to find. Can we go over there? That we cannot. That we cannot. Yikes, okay. Uh, but we're fine, we're back. We'll get on the main path here and try to find these keys. I think, again, one thing that they always consistently knock out of the park with these DLCs is the aesthetic. The aesthetic is so cool. Okay, what does this trident do? Explodes when hits a wall, damaging everyone in its way. Can I just not pick up tridents? I'm so confused. Is it a glitch that we just can't get those? Day one glitch question mark? Or is it like a... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Or does it go into our arrows? Ooh, you know what? It might go into our arrows. I wasn't even paying attention. And I'm sure you guys are t telling me right now, hey, it goes into your arrows, you big dummy. Well, when I pick up another one again, I'll have to see. So we'll have to unfortunately wait a hot minute um, to get to that, to get that answer specifically. I'm sure you guys already know. All right. Just needed some more oxygen. We're going to head back over here. I don't think there was actually one over here, which is a little bit unfortunate. So um, this battle is going to be a little bit rough here. So let's hit this. Let's get this put in. We'll get our healing. Oh, is that it? Oh, okay. I thought it was a, uh, a fight, but it wasn't. It was just a button to open the gate. Oh, it's a gate button. I am mistaken. I thought it was like levers or something that we had to do. What? What? It just jumped over the side of the, the map and was gone for eternity. Okay, we got another secret here, which is pretty cool. We got some gauntlets, which I, I mean, I don't I don't think the gauntlets are that amazing, to be completely honest with you guys. They're cool. Like, they're interesting. They have their own spot. But um, you guys will have to let me know. Do you guys have a build with your gauntlets? Do you use them in your own gameplay? Or have you? What do you think on that? I'd, I'd be interested to know. All right, get these guys all taken out here. What is this? Does this go through? Can we come? Oh, we can. We can come back over here. Secret question mark? Yes. Okay, that. The, the secrets definitely are a cool bump up. To add in so many secrets, and just instead of just being normal chests you can find, it really forces you to really explore every single nook and cranny of the map to see if you can find hidden, like, hidden chests. Like, it's really cool. All right, so we did get the gate open here. Obviously, we got some baddies. I really would like to find a trident again. And whoa, we have some wins here. Okay, so they're mixing in the previous DLC to this, which, you know what? I think is a little bit unfair because in the past DLC, they at least had a armor that would help protect you against these kinds of scenarios where you do have wins. Um... Get some health going here. I think I have to go up and over, unfortunately, to get out. Get this. And onwards we'll go. Cool. So we'll see how these inter how we interact with these. Yeah, they just push us that way, so... That's cool to know. I didn't notice the slimes actually have, like, a graphic that rolls across them, which is pretty cool. You guys will have to keep an eye out for it as we find another one. Uh, hopefully it'll show you. I think it's what it's meant to be is that there's fish within the slime, which is a cool, a uh, little cool detail. 
All right, so this is the main area. Again, we're going to want to check every single nook and cranny. We're also going to want to look for some water, or some air, I should say. Keep saying water. We don't need water. We need air. That's what we need. Oh, we found another chest there. Oh, and I, I, I killed the dolphin. Well, I am a horrible human being because I killed the dolphin. But hey, it's a video game. It's not IRL. Am I hip and cool? I said R IRL. All right, do we have a... um? Oh, and there's a turtle! What is this? We have like a squid. Okay, here's the trident. Let's get some health real quick. It should regen more than what it's taking away, so it should help us. Okay, so, ah, yes. Okay, it's not a glitch. The trident goes into your um, arrows, which is pretty cool. Where is the nearest oxygen? Oxygen! Oh, we almost died there. All right. I'm going to explore this other just little half here, and then we're going to call that at episode one. Or part one, I should say. Not episode one. Part one of our adventures into the Hidden Depths DLC. All right. Secret, secret, secret. Any secrets through here? It did close off to us, which is never a good sign. And I'm sure that many of you guys were already putting in the comments. Hey, the trident goes into you. Oh, we have guardians. That's a new dynamic, too. This is our first instance of, of guardians. I know it's just a drowned necromancer once again. Get our... Do we have another... Uh... Wow, okay. We're getting bombarded get this guy out here move back i'm gonna take out some of these side enemies here just to give us some breathing room my stupid nose itches still okay i need to get to oxygen health all time high Focus. Concentration. Oh, oh, I'm stuck. And he's taken out. Oh. All right. That was a toughie, I will say. Was it worth it? I don't know. Not necessarily. We didn't really get much. We did get a secret there. Um... We can't, unfortunately, get up there. Can I come across here? We can. Oh, and I did get a chest here, actually. I don't know if it was because I was able to get up here or if it's because I just did that action that I just had. Um, but anyways, we are 33 minutes in. So, guys, we are going to wrap up episode... Or I'm sorry, I keep saying episode. Part one there. So, part one of our Hidden Depths DLC is concluding part two will be coming soon i'm going to record it right after this obviously because we can't just save and come back to mid game or mid level um but yes i hope you all enjoyed if you did feel free to leave a like down below lets me know that you guys are enjoying this and you want to see more of it if you are new to the channel you do want to follow along for the coming parts or if you want to watch the backlog of minecraft dungeons episodes we have out there definitely hit that subscribe button and bell notification because that'll let you know every single time a new episode is posted especially these coming ones around the DLC and anniversary event. I do stream over on Twitch Mondays and Fridays at about 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, link in the description for that, along with the link to the Discord if you want to keep up to date with everything that is going on here with the channel. But other than that, guys, thank you so much for hanging out today. I appreciate it so very much, and I will see you in part two. Take it easy.